rapping is that y'all talk one on one. What your campus life about? Got the cues hopping out and the red set it out. New stroll signals walking, campus popping pretty off the SGA debate. Who next in the presidential office? How would the Hampton Union at A and D? Half time gon' be live, drum line provide the beat. Told the nation has my heart and you just wouldn't understand it to the universities all across the land. What's up, world? It's your boy here, Jalil, and it's Yard Talk 101. Your source for news, events, and the overall scoop of the yard, all right? And I'm at the CIAA Education Day, all right? Where we're giving back to the middle schoolers and the high schoolers to let them know all about college and the full experience, all right? So look, I'm not gonna give y'all too much. I'm gonna let y'all enjoy the show, all right? So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show because it's Yard Talk 101, baby, let's go! My name's Danielle and I go to J.M. Robinson High School. And my experience at the um, CIAA High School Day was actually pretty good. I got to know about the colleges and learn about what colleges um, have my major and stuff. And it was a really good opportunity. What's up, Yard Talk viewers? I have the pleasure of being here with a very important person here for the CIAA. One of the food line representatives from the CIs, all right? I'm here with Miss Millette Granville, the Diversity and Inclusion Director for Food Line. Now, Miss Granville, Food Line has an outstanding relationship with the CIAA. Can you kind of let the viewers know a little bit more about that? Yes, we are so excited. We are in a 22 year partnership and it is a strategic partnership. So it's about basketball, it's about education, it's about giving back to our communities, it's about finding great talent to bring on board with our company. It's a lot of things that we do in partnership with CIAA and it's a tremendous benefit to not only us as a company, but also to the communities in which we do business. And, and speaking of the communities, behind us is the middle schoolers from the middle school program. And you all just recently actually gave away a check to a middle school, if I'm not mistaken, correct? Yes. Can you explain a little bit about that? Yes, that is one of the points of pride for me. We are doing what we call Food Lion Feeds, where we are trying to feed the hungry and have a really big goal uh, for 2020. And this year we did something we've never done before, and we partnered with the middle school students, did a canned food drive, the school that raised the most canned foods, not only are they going to get a donation of $1,000 in their school name to the local food bank, but we're going to give them a great pep rally with our uh, lion uh, there as well to show them how much we appreciate them helping to end hunger. And we took it a step further than that. We actually made the Food Lion Feed Challenge a part of Miss CIAA. So all of Miss CIAA's had to create a video that had something to do with feeding the hungry or Food Lion Feeds. They had to put it online on CIAA's website and they got voted, thousands of votes. And the winner was able to get a thousand dollars to go to their local food bank. So, you know, along with creating three food pantries on CIAA schools, we truly are stomping out hunger. We had our third pantry this year at Winston-Salem State University. Wow, that is amazing. I got goosebumps <laughs> just, just listening to that because that's an amazing, amazing accomplishment, especially being at the first year. So I already know next year is probably gonna be bigger and better. I already know. So look, Yard Talk viewers, as you see, Food Line has an amazing relationship with the CIAA. It's not just about the basketball tournament. It's about the community as well. Yo, it's Education Day. It's Yard Talk 101. Hey, stay tuned. We got more. Exclusive. Hello, I'm Nyla. I go to Hickory Ridge, and this experience with the CIAA was great. I got to um, meet some colleges to talk about my dreams and aspirations, and they make me believe I can do anything. Yard Talk viewers, I have the pleasure of being on this show with the beautiful Miss Shaw University, Miss hey. Destiny Williams, all right? Hello. Destiny, first and foremost, thank you for being on the show. Take your time. I, I know it's been a long day. Yes, I know it, it has. Is. But it has been a very long day. Speaking of the day, mm -hmm. Education Day, 
Miss Shaw University. How does it feel to be a part of such an amazing day? Um, today was very amazing to see the excitement on the middle school kids face in high school, asking amazing questions, getting more information about Shaw University, um, being a big influence on Shaw University and you know having them say they're gonna come to Shaw University. That's, that's a big plus. That's a big plus. <laughs> it was really exciting and I was proud of it. Okay, okay. And do you feel like you've been able to leave an impact on some of the students that you've been able to talk to? Yes, I, I, I think I have, yes. they. Every question they asked me, I answered it. They got all the information that they didn't know, and it was good. Okay. It's real good. Okay. 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 <laughs> As you can see, not only is faculty members reaching back out, but students that are currently students at universities are reaching back out and uplifting the community. All right. It's Education Day. It's Yard Talk, and it's Shaw University. All right. We got more. Stay tuned. <laughs> What's up, Yard Talk viewers? You know, it's your boy Jalil, and I have two. Two just just pioneers in the HBCU world because they've been doing nothing but putting on for HBCU students and alumni. Boom, we got Burpee here from North Carolina a and T. Hey, Pride, what up, dude? Hey, he already turned, and he's a Wildin' Out cast member. Come on, okay. And you all know about this guy right here to the far left, No Limit Lizzy, No Limit Larry, member of the. Power 98 team here in Charlotte, North Carolina, and he's also a graduate of the Johnson C. Smith University. Yes, sir. <sighs> Fellas. A long time ago. I'm just you, at least I got a diploma. It's C-I-double-A. Yeah, <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, it is. For you, mm -hmm. Johnson C. Smith, mm -hmm. it's in the C-I-double-A. Mm -hmm. How does it feel as an, as an alum to see so many students mm -hmm. still interested in not only HBCUs, mm -hmm. but even John C. Smith? Oh man, it feels good because, you know, just to see young people want, want to go to the next level, whether it's doing trade school or whether it's going to college or whether it's going to HBCU, just to see young people all in one place at one time wanting to see, um, wanting to do something is a great feeling in itself, so it feels good. It definitely is, it definitely is. And for you, even though A&T is not in the CIAA, you're still here. Right. Um, <laughs> and how does that feel? What is the atmosphere like? Uh, for you man. and being a CIW and even education day in itself. Man, uh, the, the education, just going to HBCU, that's a whole different experience mm -hmm. in itself. I mean, you know, you get your big universities where you don't really get to meet everybody. But you go to HBCU and you get to jail with almost everybody. Everybody knows somebody on campus. And uh, for CIAA, I live here. I'm from here, Charlotte area. So just once again, it's here. This is what, 11 years? 11 years. 11 years here now. And it's, it, every year it seems to top the previous year. So I'm still excited about it because um, I get I get a lot more money around CIAA. Hallelujah. So I ain't never Thank mad you. about that. Thank <laughs> you, God. But, hey, man, these guys are so silly. But the importance of HBCUs. Mm, they are, The importance of HBCUs, number one, just for, for black kids coming out of high school to, to get an education to other where other universities might not accept it. They might not let us in. If you know the history behind it, we started HBCUs because they wouldn't let us go to college went, at all. Yeah, right. They so didn't want us for, to get a higher education. Right, exactly. And so now we have some of the best HBCUs in the country, some of the, and in the world. Some of the best colleges in the world are their law programs, their education programs. Nursing programs, engineer programs, business programs, programs, programs. Yeah, so. all of that, man. It's just, it's, it's a beautiful thing. So if you get a chance, go to HBC, man. It's, it's a great, great feeling, great it experience. Was, it was good for me because of the small classroom sizes and mm -hmm. like Burpee was saying earlier, you get to know everybody on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Like when you have a professor who has, you know, in some schools, 20, 30,000 students, she doesn't know you by face. She doesn't know you by name. She knows you by number. Right, right. And the HBCU, you get that one-on-one. -on -one, you get that hands-on. You get that face-to-face. -face. That's what's really important. That's what, what's really important for me. Mm -hmm. I definitely agree. You know, I graduated from Virginia State in the CIAA. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we already feel that love. Yeah. And that was the biggest thing. And one of the main reasons why I went to HBCU, because of that one-on-one -on -one experience. Yeah, man. Hey, as you all can see, CIAA is once again turning it up here at Education Day, and it's not just about the championship game, all right? It's about we're talking yard talk, that yard talk. <laughs> you know it, oh. yard hey, talk, that hey, yard look, talk. Hey, as you can see, <laughs> hey, it's yard talk, it's CIAA, it's Education Day. Hey, stay tuned, we got more, all right? Swag exclusive, exclusive. What's up, Yard Talk? 
I have two seniors here with me from North Med High School here in Charlotte, North Carolina. I have Derek and I have Devin, all right? Yo, Derek, today was education day for the CIAA, right? Yes, what was the experience you got at the high school fair? Um, well, I had a chance to, you know, get accepted to college because, you know, us African-Americans are not another st statistic, mm -hmm. you feel me? And um, I just really love the experience. Okay, and what college? Oh, I got Virginia State, Livingstone, and Chowan. Okay, Shawan, Livingstone, and Virginia State. Okay, okay. So tell me about how does it feel as a senior right now? You're about to graduate and go to college. How's that feeling for you? Well, I'm really excited, you know, get to... Uh, Try to get accepted to a couple colleges and, you know. Okay. Okay. So you looking forward to college? Yeah. All right. Well, look, as you can see, Education Day has got a little bit of got the seniors in here. They going to school and he's already been accepted to three. So this is very important that we have the CIAA every year. Education Day is important. All right. Yo, so sit back. Stay tuned. We got more. All right. My name is Dereese Wooten. I'm from Winston-Salem State University. I'm the dual admission program coordinator at Winston-Salem State University. A great thing about Education Week here, especially with CIAA, um, is a way for students. It's so, sort of like an open house with all the colleges uh, where students and their peers can come together to talk to admission reps, um, show us your transcripts, um, learn more information, meet um, different representatives at the university, compare in person with the different universities instead of going online. We're right here to answer your questions for you. What's up, Yard Talk viewers? I'm here with the two most important people of this day. Hey. Without these two people, <laughs> this dynamic duo <laughs> since 2010, this education day wouldn't be as amazing as it is. I'm here with Miss Raquel Robinson and Mr. Michael Rainey, two alum from the Virginia State University. All right, right. Trojans. Trojan Nation in the building. <laughs> so Raquel, mm -hmm. talk to us about the preparation that it took um, for education day. So a lot of people come the day of the program and they mm -hmm. think this is amazing, but this starts a year out. And so me and Mike actually will close it up for this week, but we'll start literally next week. Um, starting with our sponsors, getting surveys out, hearing all the great things we did, but also we want to improve every year. And so it's a manpower of two that puts on this program for over 5,000 students every single year. So we're excited about the work that's being done and we continue to grow the brand, new level educational um, programs and events. And um, we look forward to other things that are coming down the pipe as well. Yeah, I, I could say from today has been amazing. From the students to the sponsors to just you guys, you guys put a magnificent great. show together. Today. I appreciate it. Thank we you. can't do it without our sponsors. Have some great sponsors, NCAA, Food Lion, um, U.S. Marines, Coast Guard, Thurgood Marshall. They come every year okay. and they promote this program and they put it out on their social media and then Yard Talk is here. How awesome is that? You know, I mean, homegrown, orange and blue, you know, representing and putting our brand out there. And so we can't do it without you all. We know social media is the next move. Um, and so we know we've got to reach our students this way. And we want to make sure that we partner with you. And um, we'll keep doing this. All right. Mike Ryan. Yes, sir. What is the importance of Education Day? Uh, the main importance is, you know, we're just trying to plant that seed of education. Um, you know, our biggest thing is having all students realize their potential, that they can be anything they want to be. And I think one of the greatest people that help, you know, personify that is, you know, Barack Obama, whoever thought a black man would be, you know, president. And especially in the lifetime of this generation, I think that's had a significant impact um, on them and, you know, where they want to go in life. So it's all about, you know, uh, getting them on that path of what do I need to do to be successful. You know, for the high school student, we're focused on uh, introducing them to what they need to do to get in college, what they need to do to be successful. Uh, if they're a junior or senior, talk about the uh, uh, requirements and, you know, eligibility status, you know, things of that nature they need to have. For the freshman and sophomore, it's all about, you know, what do I need to do as far as the classes that I'm taking, getting involved in organizations, how do I set myself up 
for success. So when I present myself to an admissions department at a school, they'll say, you know, hey, we want to go ahead and bring you in. And oh, by the way, we offer you this scholarship. Um, when we talk about our middle school students, you know, they have a while to get there. But our goal for them is to, to plant that seed, to really get them interested, to know that, you know, hey, um, I think I want to do this. I have a idea that I want to, you know, have this type of career. I want to be involved in this kind of um, um, uh, sport or this type of organization when I go to school. So it's just really all about, you know, uh, planting the idea of, you know, opportunities for the students that are uh, so fortunate to come to our programs. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> And since he mentioned President Barack Obama, mm -hmm. we all aspire to be Michelle Obama. And so I want to make sure that our young ladies know that anything is possible. Yes. You can come fly, you can come with your face beat, but you can also be educated in that process, right? And that you can be fully clothed and still be fly. Mm -hmm. And so this program allows me to do that every single year, um, reach young ladies who run up and say, oh my gosh, you look amazing and I'm fully clothed. Mm -hmm. And you can be educated, you can reach your dreams and your goals, and you can do it this way. And so social media is helping with that, and mm -hmm. I appreciate you all being here, and we're gonna continue this partnership so that we can grow each other. And that's another big thing about CIWA Education Day. I truly believe in us being entrepreneurs and, and putting our brand out there right. and making sure that we bring the best. Why mm -hmm. can't we be forefront and, and bring social media and what everyone's doing to the forefront? We, we can be the next ones. And so mm -hmm. I want to make sure that everybody is getting to that next level together. I agree. Um, I definitely agree. Um, and as you can see, Education Day is bigger than just, you know, people coming and talking. It's actually about inspiring the youth. It's actually about giving back to the community. And it's actually about just, just lifting as you climb. All right, so listen, it's Yard Talk. It's Education Day, CIAA, all right? And there you have it, CIAA Education Day here in Charlotte, North Carolina, all right? As you can see, the CIAA Basketball Week is more than just a basketball tournament. They do have the educational piece to it as well, all right? So until next time, it's your boy, Jalil, and it's Yard Talk 101, your source for news, events, and the overall scoop of the yard, all right? And remember, chase your dreams or watch someone else live Peace. Do you want your school featured on Yard Talk? Contact us on social media at Yard Talk 101 or email us at yardtalk101 at gmail.com.